are most assuredly connected. One catastrophe at a time, Mr. Spock. <laughs> I ran into What'd you the, do? I, I ran into the laser. Why would you do that? I didn't see it. Jesus. Oh, God! Oh! 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 Oh, my God! Move. <laughs> You're allowed to play, despite it looking horrible. <laughs> Hey Spock, you look like you need a hand. Oh god, it does it again. Okay. Man, we can't. Oh yeah, we can. In the no, interest, we sir, we need in to the disable that laser arm. I'm not gonna turn. Thank you. All right, you're good. Look out! The oh! You see that? Oh, I missed it. This is a joke. So I have to get past the anomaly and the failure of this station are most assuredly connected. One catastrophe at a time, Mr. Spock. Not advise stepping into that scanner. No other way around. That's me, Druid. Oh, yay. Kirk of the USS Enterprise, we have a shuttle ready for your evacuation. While we appreciate your assistance, our captain and many of our top scientists are trapped in the transporter room on the other side of the station. We cannot simply abandon them. Any suggestions, Mr. Spock? If we were able to reach them, Mr. Scott may then be able to obtain a manual lock on our positions. I'm afraid that may prove impossible. All interior passages are blocked. The suits hold up out there? Sucks shit With the solar them. shield failing, direct exposure would mean certain death. Well, I hate certain death. Spock, let's try to avoid direct exposure. Captain, I will <laughs> offer whatever assistance I can for your communicator. But again, I fear that these efforts... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Certain death. Any other words of advice? Try to live long and prosper.
birds. I have a feeling once the enemies, whoever they are, show We should engage mag boots now, sir. Mr. Redshirt back. The solar collector is failing. We must avoid direct exposure. Redshirt's gonna melt off your back. Get into cover, Spock. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. Got it. Wait for it. Yeah, I'm a fuck up hard. Go, now! Oh, there is a spell. Yeah, they didn't tell us. <laughs> or...
ring is stopped, that break is exposed. One of us will need to stop the ring so the other can shoot the break. Stop, that break is exposed. Time to shoot the locking mechanism. You got it on the other side. Get it. We need a way to permanently stop the rings. When the ring is stopped, that break is exposed. Now work. Let's keep moving. Let's find that stranded crew. Our phasers will work. The shot is gonna die. I'm gone. They started talking about how not to do that. I'm sorry. That's not it's your fault. Uh. Great, no cover. I believe we may be able to open those vents. Our phasers will work. Worth a shot.
beautiful. are stable. experienced a complete loss of power. Our transporter functions are also unreliable. There does not appear to be a safe way to beam out. There's always a way. Scotty, think you can get a lock on me? I'll try, sir. What's going on down there, Captain? That was a wake-up call, Mr. Scott. I need you to work a little faster. On it, sir. We should make our way to the transporter, Captain. Oh, after you. Episode where Kirk just so how did you know each other? Just we were classmates back on Vulcan. On it. Just and classmates. Fox just I realize like, this may be really difficult Kirk. for you to understand, Captain, but really? Vulcan relationships between the sexes do not automatically now. imply an intimate past. Another reason I'm glad I'm not a Vulcan. I've got manual lock, Captain. Ready and waiting for transport. See? There's always a way. After you, Captain. I will not leave this vessel until my crew is safely out of danger. As a captain yourself, I'm sure you would do the same. I like this one. There are a few that you do not like, Captain. Yeah, see? <laughs> Prepare to energize. Thank you. But we survived the culmination of everything we've done. Our only plan is to hold the station. The station's not going to hold. We gotta get oh. back to the shuttle. Run! Keep moving. I do not think this station is salvageable, Captain. Oh, you think so? There is no time to stop.
if we didn't save the crew at all. No, we saved her. That's enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Are you all right, Captain? I'm definitely better now, thanks. Captain, we have a problem. Another one? What is it, Mr. Chekhov? I... I think you need to see for yourself. Tomorrow, a simple solar flare should not have caused the loss of power to your station. Do you know the origin of your vessel's malfunction? It did not malfunction. Uh, didn't appear that way to us. That station was used to harness the energy from the binary stars. However, all of the station's primary controls were operated from a base located on a nearby planet. What planet? We are calling it New Vulcan. So it is true. Oh, I don't exist. <laughs> that means... Go ahead, can you go through the room? Yes. Go through the room. Certain things collide with and certain things don't. That means the old total new window Stop. shenanigans opens up for me. Right. See, I, oh, I, I collide with this person, but I don't. What? What dictates that? Why? Why do, why do Spock and Kirk have different collisions? Why do I get my shit? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> They're both playable. But then again, they probably never expected anyone to go up this way. Spock, as you know, after the destruction of Vulcan, we have been searching for a suitable planet to rebuild our race. New Vulcan seemed perfect. However, a project of this magnitude would have taken generations to complete. In order to speed up this process, we created a device. Oh, God, here start. Your station was to harness the energy from the binary stars to power the Helios machine located on New Vulcan. Precisely. Two days ago, and for some unknown reason, the power to our station was shut off. Without power, our station could not withstand the gravitational pull of the stars. What moron would shut down the machine if they knew this would happen? That moron would be Sirach. Never heard of him. Sirach is Tamar's father, and a great mentor to myself and the Vulcan people. Okay. Uh, sorry? Why would Sirach shut down power bored. to your station? He must have That's been why I didn't watch Star Trek. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Helios machine Already may have caused an anomaly. Super bored. This just keeps getting better. We need to yeah, get to the bridge. Star Trek can be a bit dry. Uh... Mr. Chekhov, tell me something. It is highly Just tell me something. I don't care what it is. Kind of leap in the actual fabric of space. <laughs> like a wormhole? Something like that, sir. We've discovered it a wormhole to be now. A shortcut through space. Where does it lead? Let's take it. There is no way that to know for sure. Bad. I believe that rip is the reason my father ordered the Helios machine to be shut down. Then we need to talk to him right away. Lieutenant Ahura Hale will look up. Hi, Captain. It is no use, Captain. We lost communication with them when the Helios machine was shut down. Captain, scans indicate the reap is contracting. At the current rate, it will be gone in approximately 12 hours. Good. The fewer anomalies we have to deal with, the better. Captain, no response to our hails. Mr. Sulu, bring us in range of New Vulcan. We're going down there. Now we're going down onto the planet. It's a bad idea. I feel like they should just skip to the next level. This is just gonna be go a lot of walking for nothing. Go to bridge, talk to crew, go leave. Back. 
can't even talk to the girl who has no collision with me. <laughs> Mr. Chekhov, any life signs? Scans are inconclusive, Captain. I can't get a clear picture of what's happening on the planet. Keep trying. I bet if you're playing single player, Spock would move on his own, and this would be so he just passes through. Why do I pass through? Yes, I don't know. I that's my guess. I mean, it's a good guess, actually. Right there. Like I'm trying to put my trying to put yeah, my brain. Yeah, nervous back there, sir. Wasn't well, sure if you guys oh no. <laughs> nice <laughs> flying, <laughs> sir. Thank you, sir. Truly, we'll have an elevator for a second. Maybe rematch. Your fencing's getting better, sir. You almost made contact last time. I guess I'm gonna go talk to Uhura. You're clearly gonna nail the whole thing. I may have to cancel our dinner plans. So, this Tamar, is she a friend of yours? Oh, we went to school Uhura's together jealous. on Vulcan. As a child, many of my peers resented my human side. Tamar did not. I see. Yeah, <laughs> Spock and Uhura are the only I can assure you that our relationship was strictly platonic. <laughs> I didn't mean... No offense taken. I would be more than willing to discuss my past with you any other time. Just not right now. That's it. Alright. Wait, where, where's the... Bye, Uhura. No, we, I tried. I tried. I tried. No, you already talked to them. So I guess you just... We'll just go. We'll go. Probably gonna do this between each level, I take it. I must request permission to join you, Captain. Spark, you, you sure that's within exists? protocol? I mean, maybe because we should just send Scotty and some recruits. Captain, I hope the importance of New Vulcan is not lost on you. Our people cannot afford another tragedy. This planet is the best hope for our race to prosper. Noted. Then you should also note that having a Vulcan as a member of your Vulcan team would be essential to the success of this mission. And I am the only one on this ship that has ever been on the surface of New Vulcan or has experience with the Helios all machine. All right, all right, all right. Great. Now there's two of you guys drive me nuts. Transport ready, Captain. My phaser, Mr. Scott. I've put some wee modifications on it, just like you asked. I've been working on some other options, too. Oh, I've got phase ooh, cannons, guns. photon disruptors, and wait till I show you these plasma rifles. Still working out a few things. My phaser will do. You know, it's kind of Scott, are you a terrorist? Hear about the stasis grenades. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty little bugs. Okay. But this is phaser, phaser. Phaser. They actually keep it split screen. Sort of follow the right character. This has had, uh, from what I can hear, okay voice acting. Well, it's the actual actors from yeah. the, the movies. Yeah, really so. decent voice acting, great cinematics, and solid gameplay. I think the main reason people said this game sucks is because it's Any boring. further out and I'd be back in Iowa. Yeah, it's like, they got everything <laughs> right, didn't have you do the wrong thing. Yeah, but here's the thing, and getting do... everything right for a Star Trek is super boring. <laughs> But then they did all this insane crap right with it, Seven which I guess four. is right for Star Trek, so... <laughs> For some reason, the highest security so protocols like has like been enabled on this door. Can we hack it? Possibly, but you will have to work yeah, together to beat the encryption. Commander, I need your help with this system. Oh, a different... It's just match the waves. Oh, but we're both doing it. Yeah. I'm 
everything on your side. I see you moving all over the place. Well, I, I, I know where to go to match yours, but it's just I don't know what else to... Oh, we're really close. We're really close. For well, a it's like a progress mode. Yeah. Oh, you have to, like... You have to, like, change. Yeah, yeah, because it's constantly okay. moving. I, I, I didn't know that. Oh. Captain, the that system seemed to have Holy been purposely shit. shut down. I can provide assistance. What's that plus one? Can you operate all the systems from here? XP. Yes, I helped Level build up. and design. Are there skill trees? I actually think so. I stay Hold on, let's. Tomorrow we may need your technical assistance should things get unfriendly, unpredictable. But my father. When we find him, you'll be the first to know. I will remain in constant contact. Thank you, Captain. Shall we proceed? After you. Somewhere, yeah. What no? This is just. Oh god! How long is this, this is, game? This is collectible noise. How long is this game? Get out of here! No. Get How long here. is this game? Come on, let's keep going. Whoa! Did we miss all this on Helios? Oh, are these all the? Oh, these are the levels right here. Mm -hmm. I guess there were unlockable. We, we just not that get we anything. Just missed. How, how so that... there are collectibles, but we just completely missed them, and I don't even know what they were. And the game didn't bother to explain to us what they were. I bet it uses the trigger for it. Oh god. You just gotta walk around with this the whole fucking time. And shit. Oh man, I'm gonna give this game another plus though on oh, this oh. red circle that tells you where to go. All the time. I believe we have a problem. Really? But you can't make that jump. It is highly doubtful that either of us can cross unharmed. <laughs> what do we do? Dead, Captain. Yeah. That looks really good. Uh, I'll look at my screen. Because... Okay, that looks bad. That looks really bad. Now, if you hold it still, it looks pretty beautiful. Can I duplicate that? No. Oh, like on your screen, it's doing that. It's rendered right for me. <laughs> Yeah, nope, that doesn't look great. I didn't mean the horizon. Yeah. <laughs> the design of it looks great. So they'll even say that you got a text log that you'd have to actually have to stop playing the game and go into the menu to read. That's terrible. <laughs> By scanning a Vulcan corpse. What's weird is. And we got another plus 100. What's odd is it's supposedly a Vulcan corpse, but it doesn't look like he has pointed ears. And whoever wrote that wasn't a Vulcan, so is that me writing about the Vulcan corpse I found? I think it was Spock. Weird. It, yeah, I hit start and it allows me to jump to it. Right, so See that? I oh, did. God, no. Yeah, I'm kind of bored of collectibles already. <laughs> Fuck that. Shit. Satan? Oh god. That's like some Shoot first, ask questions later. <laughs> Boy, they really did go I understand like, that our lives were at risk. What the hell? We must endeavor not to use lethal force. Agreed, we both need to use stun from this point on. 
They didn't teach us how to use stun till right now. Oh, now it tells us how to use the scan. <coughs> After we are I think he's been poisoned. Scans show numerous toxins in the adrenal glands and bloodstream. I like how even though you scan it, you're talking. Spock does all the scanning, not Kirk. Effective Vulcan, more info, hit start. Mm-hmm. You don't care. Let's get out of here. I will be reading every one of these, you bastard. I have to hold square for three seconds. I will get my reward. Wait, use your experience to upgrade the tricorder and your personal sidearm to select to go to the upgrade menu. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, I'm gonna dump everything into combat. <laughs> okay, what do we got? That's for Kirk. So I'll hack or bypass. Automatically increase tricorder's reaction. Interaction range. I wanna do the Vulcan nerve pinch. <laughs> I love the dumbest shit from Star Trek. Can you tell? <laughs> Yeah, like you only know the stupid crap. I do. I only know the stupid crap. I don't have. I, we only have three hundred XP. We don't have enough for anything, then. Oh shit! This is a waste of. How do I get off? Uh, no button is closing this menu for me. I don't have any control at all. Circle does nothing. Select does nothing. Start. I press start, and it brought this up. You had to press start to do that, because nothing on my end would close the menu. <laughs> uh, I'm going to bring it up. For Spock. Use on an enemy. Weak spot analyzer. Weapon chamber. Grenade hacker. Oh, boy. So this is all you can upgrade, huh? Oh, hey, you can do this. Modifies heat management to allow a faster cold down rate. Actually, it's fire rate. We can get fire rate upgrade. Oh, and use on your ally to overcharge their shields. Wait a minute. For Seasons you, it's... Strike order energy to be replenished at energy stations. For you, it says back. On the bottom right, we'll yeah. close this menu. It does. Hit, hit, hit that. It did. Okay, so now it works. So, that was a bug. <laughs> like, the first opening just of the menu was closed. That was a bug. Yeah. I think I don't even want to grab any of my upgrades right now. I'd rather save up for something else. Another disturbed individual. I have no idea. We gotta take him out, but remember, stun only. Yeah, here we go. I would not have it any other way. Yeah, R2 is stuck. Oh, is someone there? He just says it's so unfair. No, it's so unfair. This door is locked tight. We need I just a code. Had a, kill shot a mind meld may be our only chance to find out what has happened. Shit. Are you sure you want to touch that guy? Oh, Mind yeah. Mind oh, is our sweet. only option. That's cool. Ah, tentacles. Yes. We had a very interesting... Anything? Time. I have never encountered this before. His mind has been corrupted. Also, I now know the code to that door. Enterprise, we have injured. Prepare to transport. Aye, sir. Everything all right? Yeah, just some Vulcan problems. Wait, so, the usual. What? What are they doing? Just beamed it up. The infected Vulcan. That's hilarious. Oh, so boy. you realize level three is we could have the Enterprise. I'm detecting Enterprise several Vulcans behind right? this door, oh, but their no. readings Ram are the erratic. Children. May I suggest setting our phasers to stun? After all, they are Vulcans. Find the Chirac guy and get the hell out of here. Why don't you just kill him? I think we'll get less 
highest XP it was like a remote challenge. But, shot it. but after that, they said, right? something they did up to that or it's just a cool feature they didn't have to put in. Complete. I don't think you get XP for it. Ghost of Ensu. Spock. Sirak, I am relieved to see you unharmed. This is my commanding officer, Captain Kirk. Captain, this is Sirak. Pleasure. And Tamar? I am here, Father. Tamar, I am pleased to hear your voice. Now, what the hell is going on down there? We have been attacked. Creatures of an unknown origin. They emerged from the rip not long after it appeared. What creatures? Oh, okay. We have only been able to decipher that they call themselves the Gorn. Spock, we cannot allow the power of the Helios machine to fall into their hands. It would be catastrophic. How would they be after the machine? They could use it to create rips anywhere in the universe. They would be able to attack without warning. Where's the machine now? Further underground, in the colony's deepest labs. I have secured all entries into the lab to prevent the device from falling into hostile hands. Tamar, are you able to provide additional assistance? I can open the fire door that leads further into the labs. After that point, I will no longer be able to assist them. Your guidance is all we ask. Then I advise caution. There are likely to be more infected Vulcans up ahead. Got it. I gotta read. Everything we just collected. Oh, okay. All right. I'm gonna take a small break. Ha <laughs> ha.